Okay, there you have it. Cleaned all the screws up on it. Uh, the darker colors is down inside the groove, which uh, right now I just rub WD-40 all over it. Put that sponge on there. It went all the way down to there, so it's still got stuff on there, but they're clean. Yep. Smooth action. Yep. Work. Oh, this thing's got a little computer right here. I need to be checking into to see what this is when I spin it around because it's got something here, it's got something here this and it's got a button up here and it's got a plug let's see i have to figure that out i think this is the uh router itself yeah that's for the router so there's got to be power coming off this somewhere somewhere it's got to have a power plug i'll have to look at it but for the moment all right these are opposed the screws one turns this way and the other turns that way going forward and backwards they're opposite of each other so that's going to be interesting it means i'll have to take it apart loose when i go to do program the software to make sure that i got these two motors this one and that one over there uh opposed or reversed from each other and then I got to get steps, so I need to kind of like know what this is and get a, some sort of, well, I'll get my mic out, engage it. Where in the hell are those at now? Shit, I think they're in the truck. But other than that, I mean, the screws really cleaned up really well. well I was surprised, you know. But once I moved it back just a little bit for this they were over here and it was just bright on both sides I knew I was okay so I knew I'd be alright and that'll work that'll make a fine plasma cutter yeah awesome everything's here and this is a gecko 4 axis step motion system uh, charge pump I'll have to look that up right there too uh, that'd be for the spindle I reckon but other than that uh, it's a fairly new er system than the one that I have on the other one the other one I have separate control drivers each one of them separate so I gotta be real careful with this one and no it ain't gonna stay underneath there I think I set it up at the back, back here. All I have to do is hook all the limit switches back up, and then I, I got to get my program. Get a another desktop that has a DB25 printer port on it, and then put all my software on there and go to town. Cause I don't want one computer for all three machines. I'm gonna get another controller for the router and have the router set up on itself and the mill will be on itself and the plasma cutter will be on itself right that's toys doing it in a hurricane them are toys that mower I'm done with that except for I got the diodes they're on the way I put the diodes on and that little bad boy gets parked. I know the seat arm get bent. Huh. I'll have to get a pipe wrench or something out for that. I don't know. But that's all I need, diodes. And yeah, and this clusterfuck of moving shit around to get this to work. So let's cover it up with plastic and put that back in the truck which it ain't as much drier and I do need to get that window fixed I think I need to fix that window tonight before all the storms are here but it's pretty fucking cool man <laughs> this is one of them bob kits or uh, gatton type this is like gatton and 
Bob or whatever his name is. And it's got a little arch in it. So you can see where he planed it down. On the inside, I have a flat surface. I ain't doing that. I'm going to get a couple pieces of extruded aluminum, put down on the bottom. Get this up. Yep. All right, all peace.